Hello and welcome to another video um, of um, data collection series. So in this video, we'll look at the macro indicators of four countries um, in relation to the decision of um, expansion. So in the life of businesses, when they think of um, expanding into a new country, entering a new market, um, so or talking about any forms of uh, businesses in relation to exporting foreign direct investment. So you look at uh, certain macro indicators uh, to give you a brief um, insight about which country could be more suitable uh, for you to expand into. Um, it could be the, the, for different reasons many businesses, uh, multinational corporations um, they seek entering into new market could be uh, getting advantage of uh, labor, skilled labor, also uh, the cost of labor could be availability of resources, could be transportation, could be um, maybe uh, let's say the skills they wanted or uh, maybe other companies talking about other companies operating in this market. So today we we'll look at uh, the um, brief briefly look at the macro indicators that we need to look at if we uh, have if we need to take a decision to expand into new markets we're using the International Monetary Fund database um, IMF so look at database and the uh, World Economic Outlook database October 2021 uh, we're choosing by countries so um, today we're looking at um, emerging and developing Asia and we're going to choose only four countries so a clear or and then we we'll look at uh, Bangladesh um, India Malaysia and Oh, we look at Indonesia as well so four countries Bangladesh India Indonesia and Malaysia okay so in this case you say continue so the first thing we look at um, in order to determine the size of the market we're looking at uh, gross domestic product uh, GDP um, so that will tell us give us a hint about the size of the market and also in relation to um, the growth in the size of the market we're talking about uh, economic growth so economic growth indicates the growth in uh, the demand in that country in terms of uh, products and services produced so uh, full GDP uh, gross domestic product um, the total value of all products and services produced in a country at specific period of time we're looking at um, gross domestic product current prices US dollars uh, we're not using national currency for economic growth uh, we're looking at We're looking at uh, gross domestic product constant prices percentage change. Uh, so that's the percentage change in GDP from one year to another year. Uh, okay, uh, we're looking at uh, also um, inflation rate, average consumer prices percentage change. Uh, we're looking at um, unemployment rate population and also finally uh, we're looking at um, yeah uh, general government gross debt so these are the brief indicators that you're going to use uh, so now we're looking at 
start here let's say looking at the last 10 years so 2011 uh, let's say let's start uh, 2010 till 2020 so here we have something we we need to when we select uh, <coughs> the date date range or let's say data range we need to avoid any uh, let's say outliers uh, so we had the pandemic so that will make it difficult to judge the country based on the last 10 years especially we're talking about 2020 but let's have a look uh, okay uh, 10 years show all uh, producer report so we download the report okay so we have the table here um, uh, you could uh, restructure this table in a better way you could also use graphs to represent the table and that will ease the comparison but let's just briefly look at the table uh, so we have countries we have indicators uh, we have units I'm not interested in notes so we have the last column here you see estimates after date so that will give us indication about which data <coughs> are estimated okay uh, so first we start with Bangladesh so as we see in Bangladesh we could see that from 2010 uh, we have uh, looking at um, GDP in millions US dollars so from 2010 so 115 128 133 150 172 195 201 249 242 and in 2020 is 323 so you could see that gdp has been increasing since 2010 until 2020 and if we check the economic growth that you could see that economic growth is so in terms of GDP is uh, economic growth uh, since it's changed you see that uh, it's been increasing uh, from 2010 to uh, let's say uh, 2019 and then as a result of the pandemic you see that economic growth uh, decreased to 3% 3.5% so you see it been increasing from 5 to uh, in 2010 to 8 in 2019 and it's been decreased to 3.5 in 2020 so that's 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 still increase in GDP but at um, a lower percentage yeah so that's that's as a result of covid the pandemic okay let's let's look at um inflation rate so inflation rate uh you could see that uh from 2010 it was six and then six percent and then ten and then eight and then six and then seven and then we could say that from 2016 till 2020 it's been stable at uh, let's say around uh, five percent so that's 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 uh, that's still uh, acceptable as of uh, 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 in the UK we're heading towards four percent. Uh, okay, uh, let's look at population in Bangladesh. Population is Bangladesh is uh, uh, twenty ten hundred and forty seven point five uh, millions. Uh, twenty twenty hundred and sixty four. Uh, let's say 160 65 millions in 2020 uh, so looking at government gross debt uh, as a percent of GDP you see that is 35 33 
35 and then 38 so you could say that from 30 2010 to 2019 it's been uh, stable at 35 percent and then as a result of uh, the pandemic uh, we could see that in 2020 uh, gross gov government debt uh, increased to 30 around 39 percent and and this is uh, this is not not bad for India we see uh, a huge uh, GDP at um, 1708 to what about billions and that has been increasing uh, to uh, 2660 but you see that we have uh, let's say uh, dropping GDP so it was in 2019 it was 2870 went down to 2660 so that's that's a negative um, so that's a decrease and when we talk about um, economic growth we could see that uh, it's been fluctuating not not as stable as Bangladesh but in uh, 2019 we see that it's negative um, GDP so we talking uh, eco sorry economic growth so it's been 10% in 2010 and then went down to um, uh, 2018 to 6% and then 2019 is 4% and then negative seven point uh two five five two so that's that's talking about uh recession here uh we have also inflation inflation rate for india we're talking about around uh, so ten percent and then went down to uh let's say three percent and then up to six percent so you see that it's not really uh inflation rate it's not really stable but we could see that there has been efforts to uh, bring down inflation rate from uh, let's say from 2012 to uh, let's say 20 2019 and then as a result of pandemic as well so recession as a result of pandemic and an increase in inflation uh, to six percent we could see see here uh, no data about uh, unemployment for india no data for unemployment in bangladesh uh, population for India, I mean, in millions is uh, um, um, 1,378.6 uh, millions. We could see here this is estimate data, so that's not accurate data. We have 20 since 2013, so that's the most uh, accurate data. So 1,280, uh, let's say 281 uh, millions. We moving to talk about um, general government debt is 66.4 2010 and then we have uh, that has been increased to um, 74 so it's been increasing to 74 point uh, 74 and then it's been increased a percent and then 80 uh, around around 90 90 percent of gdp so that's the general government uh, gross debt so that's that's not definitely not good we'll continue with that in um um another another video thank you for listening